another Sunday afternoon game, and this is is kind of the the Bama quarterback bowl, I guess you could call it. The Dolphins at the Patriots. Patriots are now a three point favorite. That line has kind of continued to go up a little bit. I believe it opened at two, and and now it's up. it opened at one. It opened at one. Okay, I, I saw it when it was at two. Um, I'm looking at the opening line right now. All right, so opened at one. It's now up to three. A lot of love for Belichick and what those guys did in free agency, what they did in the draft. 43.5 is the total. Now, I'm not playing any totals in week one until I see what these teams are going to look like, but I will play sides. And and in this situation, I'm I'm rolling Patriots. I think the Patriots have the better quarterback. Like I, I, I know that that's blasphemy for Alabama fans and whatnot, but I think Mac Jones is a better quarterback even at this stage in his in his uh, NFL career, than Tua Tagovailoa, so I will absolutely take the Patriots. I think they got better weapons. I think Miami last year was good, but I I don't like Flores going back to you know New England. I think Bill's going to have something for everybody this season. Uh, this kind of feels like uh, like a revenge tour. So I'm I'm trusting Bill Belichick here. I think the Patriots are going to win this one. Not not going away, but it, because we all know how they win games sometimes. But I I do trust them to win this by more than a field goal. Yeah, I do too. Th- this is just a situation. They're not just getting the guys that they got in the draft or the guys in free agency. They lost more guys to COVID opt outs than anybody in the country did last year. Okay, no other team had nearly the amount of COVID opt outs as the Patriots. That's fine. All those guys are back. Everybody's back. Everybody's. Wor- this defense will not look like what it looked like last year. It, it'll be one of the best defenses in the league. I believe that. I think this game, A, I don't think Mac Jones needs to do much. I think he's going to do a lot of handing off the football. They got five running backs back there that Bill loves, and and I, I think they're going to run the ball. I think they're going to do a lot of dump passes to tight ends. I think he's going to play the game safe. I think he's going to keep it low scoring. I think he's going to win the game. I think they're going to cover the three, and and you know, that's just what I feel. You think? Does this feel like it could end up being like a twenty-one seventeen kind of nope. ball game, like under the forty-three and a half? Well, under the forty-three and a half, I don't, <clears throat> I don't, I don't, I don't think, I don't think Miami's getting seventeen. I could, I could see it. I could one hundred percent see what you're talking about. So yeah, I could, I could definitely see under forty-three and a half here. Uh, it's one of the lowest totals on the board. This weekend may be the lowest because almost everything else is between. No, the next uh, Denver Giants is 41, is it? 42. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that's I didn't have that one down for us, but that's, man, that's low. I guess that nobody's expecting Daniel Jones or Teddy Bridgewater to, to light things up today. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.